Landforms Created by River Today we will share an important topic of geography, landforms created by river system. It is important to know how the landforms are created by the rivers. When a river flows, erosion and deposition create different river landforms. The landforms differ at the source of river and at the downstream. Landform created by river system. Potholes. Potholes are cylindrical holes drilled into the bed of the river that vary in depth and diameter from a few centimeters to several meters. They're found in the upper course of a river where it has enough potential energy to erode vertically and its flow is turbulent. In the upper course of the river, its load is large and mainly transported by traction along the riverbed. When flowing water encounters bed load, it is forced over it and gap cuts behind the bed load in swirling eddy currents. These currents erode the river's bed and create small depressions in it. These are the deep natural underground cave formed by the erosion of rock, especially by the action of water. These currents erode the river's bed and create small depressions in it. These are drilled into the bed of a river and are cylindrical in nature. The diameter and depth varies from few centimeters to meters. These are formed due to the whirling impact of the water current in the upper course of the river. In India, the potholes can be observed in the riverbed of the Kukadi, Krishna and Godavari River in Maharashtra and Swarnrikla and Dimadar River in Jharkhand and West Bengal. V-shaped valley. V-shaped valleys are found in the upper course of the river and are a result of both erosion by the river and weathering. V-shaped valleys are deep river valleys with steep sides that look like a letter V when a cross section of them is taken, hence the name. They're found in the upper course because this is where the river has the greatest gravitational potential energy and so the greatest potential to erode vertically. It does so during periods of high discharge. When the river's discharge is high, it is able to transport its large bed load by traction eroding the river's bed and valley by corrosion, deepening it. Not much lateral erosion takes place so the channel and valley remains relatively narrow. V-shaped valleys have steep valley walls with narrow valley floors. V-shaped valleys are deep river valleys with steep sides that look like a letter V. A diagram shown below will give you a better understanding. These are generally formed by the result of erosion and withering by fast-flowing rivers and are generally formed in the upper course of the river. A deep and narrow valley with steep sides is called a gorge. Many gorge are found in River Elhas in Thane district in Maharashtra and the gorge of the river Narmada at Bidaghat near Jabalpur in Madhya Pradesh are well known. Waterfalls Waterfalls develop when a change of lithology, rock type, takes place along the river's course resulting in differential erosion. When the rock type of the river's channel changes from a resistant rock to a less resistant one, for example granite to limestone, the river erodes the less resistant rock faster producing a sudden drop in the gradient of the river with the resistant rock being higher up than the less resistant rock. As the river flows over the resistant rock, it falls onto the less resistant rock, eroding it and creating a greater height difference between the two rock types, producing the water. Waterfalls are formed due to the building of both hard rock and soft rock. As the river flows over the resistant rock, it falls onto the less resistant rock, eroding it and creating a greater height difference between the two rock types, producing the waterfall. Over thousands of years, the repeated collapse of the cap rock and retreat of the waterfall produces a gorge of recession. Waterfalls exists because of difference in rock types. When a river flows, it passes through many different rock types and when a river passes from a resistant rock bed to a softer one, it erodes softer one very quickly and at the junction between the rock types, it steepen its gradient. The highest waterfall in the world is Angel Falls in Venezuela, tilde 800 meters. The largest waterfall is the Chutes de Cone, Cone Falls, on the Mekong River in Laos. The Niagara Falls on the River Niagara and Jog Falls in Karnataka on Cherubati River are famous waterfalls. Rapids Rapids are sections of a river where the gradient of the riverbed is relatively steep resulting in an increase in the river's turbulence and velocity. 
they form where the gradient of the river is steep and the bed is composed mainly of hard rocks. Meanders and Oxbow Lakes Oxbow Lakes are an evolution of meanders that undergo extensive deposition and erosion. As we've just seen, strong erosion takes place on the outside bend of a meander while deposition takes place on the inner bend. As a result, the neck of a meander narrows. During extremely high discharge, for example, a flood, it's more efficient for a river to flow across the neck of a meander rather than around it. When discharge returns to normal levels, the river continues follow this new course. The meander is left connected to the channel as a cutoff. Deposition eventually separates the cutoff from the main channel leaving behind an oxbow lake. With its main source of water disconnected, the lake eventually dries up leaving behind a meander scar. Meanders are bends in a river that form as a river sinuosity increases. A meander forms when moving water in a stream erodes the outer banks and widens its valley, and the inner part of the river has less energy and deposits silt. Meanders form a snake-like pattern as the river flows across a fairly flat valley floor. The sinuosity of a river is a measurement of how much a river varies from a straight line. Meanders are formed due to lateral erosion and as the erosion increases over the period of time, the meanders in the river again start flowing in the straight line. Meanders formation is a self-intensifying process where a greater curvature results in more erosion of the bank which in turn results in greater curvature. Oxbow lakes are an evolution of meanders that undergo extensive deposition and erosion. When the meanders cut from the main course and water accumulates in this pool then it resembles the shape of the oxbow. Fan-shaped plains These are formed in the region where the tributaries rivers joins the main river. These are formed due to the deposition of material carried by the tributaries rivers. These flows come from a single point source at the apex of the fan, and over time move to occupy many positions on the fan surface. This deposition resembles the shape of fan-like plains. Flood plains. Flood plains are large, flat expanses of land that form on either side of a river. The flood plain is the area that a river floods onto when it's experiencing high discharge. When a river floods, its efficiency decreases rapidly because of an increase in friction, reducing the river's velocity and forcing it to deposit its load. The load is deposited across the floodplain as alluvium. The alluvium is very fertile so floodplains are often used as farmland. These are formed due to the overflows of the river and flood in the nearby areas. It is an area of low-lying ground adjacent to a river, formed mainly of river sediments and subject to flooding. Floodplains are made by downstream traveling meanders. Slit carried by the water gets deposited in flooded areas and formed flat plains on both sides of river. The Gangetic Plain is a flood plain. Levees. It is an embankment built to prevent the overflow of a river by a ridge of sediment deposited naturally alongside a river by overflowing water. When a river floods, it deposits its load over the flood plain due to a dramatic drop in the river's velocity as friction increases greatly. Repeated floods cause the mounds to build up and form levees. Delta Deltas are depositional landforms found at the mouth of a river where the river meets a body of water with a lower velocity than the river, for example a lake or the sea. For a delta to develop, the body of water needs to be relatively quiet with a low tidal range so that deposited sediment isn't washed away and has time to accumulate. When a river meets a stationary body of water, its velocity falls causing any material being transported by the river to be deposited. Deltas are made up of three sediment beds that have been sorted by the size of the sediment. The bottommost bed, the bottomset bed, is composed primarily of clay and some other fine grain sediments. Clay is the main constituent because when clay meets salt water a process called flocculation takes place where clay and salt particles clump together, flocculate, due to an electrostatic charge developing between the particles. This makes the clay particles sink due to their increased weight producing the bottoms at bed. 
The Batumzat bed stretches a fair distance from the mouth of the river as the fine sediments can be transported a reasonable distance from the river's mouth. Delta is a term coined by Herodotus, the father of history, after the Greek letter Delta because of the deltoid shaped at the mouth of the Nile River. A river delta is a landform that forms from deposition of sediment carried by a river as the flow leaves its mouth and enters slower moving or standing water. People have this occurs where a river enters an ocean, sea, estuary, the sediment carried lake, and deposited reservoir, by mighty or, more rarely, another river that cannot transport away the supplied sediment. Over the period of time this deposition builds the characteristic abound, geographic people. pattern of a river delta. The Sundarbans the Delta of the Ganga River is the largest in the world. This is Thank you so much for the watching the Geographia, for continue encouragement please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel. If you have any queries then please don't hesitate to contact on matalo at gmail.com or react on Facebook of the Geographia platform, thank you so much again all of you.